Actually, I think he's heard you say action and he's calmed down. You freaking liar. Milo, show everyone how excited you were. Yeah, he was like that. He said he was running from there all the way to over yeah, here. Calm his ass down. Milo, are you excited? Are you excited, Milo? Nah, it's You late. fucking little liar. You are so excited and all of a sudden the camera turns on. Oh, shit. Hmm. Oh, and now you want to sit. Now you want to sit and pretend like how much manners you have. You little son of a bitch. I know, you fucking liar. What do you think, Briggy? You think he's telling the truth? Exactly. You don't speak French. <laughs> she just took a med medicine. Okay, let's go. Time to go, guys. Go. Are we going through the garage? Oh, I'm talking it. Oh, okay. Go through the front door then? Yes. How about you open the back, and then I won't let them out until... Oh, I need your keys then. You don't have keys? For your truck? No. Okay, hold on. Let me get them. I mean, I do, but they're not on yeah, the yeah, yeah. This thing is... It's just easier this way, where uh, I don't have to put these stupid leashes on. And since they know the drill to run into the back of the truck, um, I could just have Gio open the... I can't even reach my backpack. Uh, go to the back of the truck, open it, and then uh, have them run out. Let's see. Are you ready? No. Your portion is right on it. Oh, you got to pull it forward? Yeah. Okay. Mama has to pull the truck forward first, okay? Damn, my allergies are going crazy right now. What the fuck? I just took allergy medicine. But I won't stop. Oh, I hope I'm not getting sick. I cannot afford to get sick right now. When can you ever afford to get sick, right? Let me know when you're ready. All right. Let's go, kids. Run. Run for your lives. Run for your lives. What's Jill doing, Lou? She's, that's, that's uh, animal cruelty. She's choking in meatloaf out. Oh my God, why would you do MMA Somebody on a dog? Somebody call Peter. <laughs> <laughs> He's a big baby. Why would you do MMA on him? Why? Look at those eyes. Look at those freaking heads. His head smells good, huh? Shut up. Who, me still... or him? No, him. Oh. <laughs> Are you still a baby? Milo? Yeah. Yeah, if you just mess with him, he always squeals. He goes, He's <laughs> a big ass baby. He's like the biggest baby I know. His giant lipstick. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> His fur cannon. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> He's skinny, huh, Ew. Oh, yeah. huh? He's skinny, huh? He's a big teddy bear. We know who likes it. Oh, yeah. We'll call him the Rocketeer. The Rocketeer, he is the Rocketeer. He's the Rocketeer. Beastie Alley, You like Beastie Alley, bro? I didn't know that. I love Beastie Alley. Oh. Everything we say in this vlog is 100% truth. <laughs> so we just wrapped up our uh, weekly big Barbell Brigade meeting and some big stuff has been going down. I wish I could show you, but I don't have the files on me right now nor are they finalized but uh long story short and here's a secret is um we're trying to rebrand barbell brigade and before you think rebrand and you think oh shit they're gonna change the entire feel of it that's not what we're going for we're not going from like hardcore like tupac all of a sudden to taylor swift what we're really trying to do is kind of um just have a uniform have a uniform and, re and really fine tune the voice that is a barbell brigade. So we want our videos to feel the same way as our clothes, to feel the same way our gym does. Like just have everything be really, really uniform. And I think to the outside world, a lot of times they're like, dude, barbell brigade is killing it. That's what I hear all the time. But I think for us, um, as we've grown and we've been doing this since 2013, it does feel like some of some parts have kind of grown apart. So we hired this really big uh, branding firm 
and they've done everything from Apple to Stan Socks to Beats by Dre and they're really helping us right now and what was crazy is they came out with this logo that has a hella dope story they kind of took the infinity sign with an arrow that says progress so infinite progress because you know Bartleberry is all about self-improvement plus the B and they came up with this infinity uh, sign mixed in with the B and it looked dope but when we had our weekly meeting today not everyone was like immediately fell in love you with it. You were feeling it? You thought it looked dope? I think the design itself, it looks cool, like it's symmetrical, right? Yeah. Like from a design standpoint, but from a is it me standpoint, you know? Like yeah. like for example, like I think Aston Martins look fucking sick, but that's not me. Like I, I probably would never buy an Aston Martin, buy buy that car though. But if I had, uh, what the hell is, that's some downtown LA shit. Did you see what was going on? Uh, I missed it. It was, it was like a reverse there, piggyback ride, but the girl's on the front. But anyways, um, it, it wasn't me, you know? And I think visually it looks dope. And that's what everyone at Bar Brigade said. It wasn't us. I think that's dope, though, that the whole crew felt the exact same thing. Yeah, so, we, so the good thing is that we're all on the same page. So now what we're trying to do is we want, like, you know, when we did the barbell brigade stuff with our first, 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 first coach's jackets, we did embroidery and there's problems. So the logo itself just has a lot of problems. Like it can't be, uh, it can't be embroidered. It can't be in every single type of media. It, it looks bad on business cards, on things. And a good logo like the Nike Swish can be done on anything from a billboard, huge, to fine print, to embroidery. And so that's what we're trying to do. So I don't have too much to show yet. But I just want to give all of you guys a heads up that have been wondering why uh, Barbell Brigade has kind of taken a, a back seat a little bit this year. We are launching a few things very, very soon. I believe our first launch is going to be in May. And it's going to be um, all the current trendy colors that everyone likes. It's like gonna, all our best sellers. All our best sellers is going to be now in those colors. So the colorways are going to be sick. All the No Limit hoodies, the Bulletproof, all that stuff. We're gonna be re-releasing them, but on the back, back end, we're, we're gonna hopefully cook up something really, really dope for you guys. We already are cooking it up. We're already cooking, the fire's gone. Yep. Yes. Bob Bell, where are you driving to right now? Driving to the Bob Bell Bouquet Jimmy Jim Jim. And what are you gonna do today? Train family time. Oh, CUNY, and what does that mean? That you're gonna record all your videos with your friends and family? No. So every uh, Friday, we train with the Barbell Brigade family peoples. And uh, we use that one day out of the week to train and just bond, kind of like the way we all bonded before business and the videos and all that stuff got in the way so we could always go back to the roots and make sure we have that strong family bond training environment. Yes. No work, none of that happens while we train. It's just good times, laughter, and some sweat and balls. So. See you guys in a bit. chance to just go out to the supermarket although it seems really normal it is really rare that we're able to go to the supermarket and find things that we want to cook and cook it together so I'm actually really excited <laughs> why are you looking like that that's such a funny face it's very true <laughs> I feel like you're missing glasses or something uh, it's my it's my Robert De Niro oh yeah that's a good Robert De Niro if he was a girl Yeah, so um, it's really rare that we are able to kind of cook in the kitchen. I'm really excited that we both get to use the kitchen for the first time. We're so gonna I'm here. Fight. We're gonna fight. No, we're here. not. So uh, what were you, what were you planning on making? Spaghetti. You're gonna make spaghetti, spaghetti. and I'm gonna cook a big fat steak because I'm in the mood for steak. So I'm in the steak section, looking for you, you big ham. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, so I'm looking for a big old oh tenderized. That means they pounded it already. Oh yeah, tenderized, tenderized meat. Steak. Oh, you know what tenderized steak is for? Tenderized meat. <laughs> it's for a uh, country fried steak. So they tenderize it, so they pound it, and then they put a, a crust over it, so they can fry it. Well, you're gonna tenderize me. <laughs> tenderize you every day, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> you little nasty. 
So back to finding. Yeah, I had to say that joke three times. Back to no, no sirloin. So I'm not a big fan of sirloin, even though it's really lean. What about the ribeye? Oh, where's the ribeye? You see it? Where? so soft. Where do you see the ribeye? I've never heard of ribeye. There's Chuck Choice. Oh, what is this big fat guy? Ribeye steak, boneless. Oh, yeah. Top sirloin. Big, it's not very soft. Steak. Ribeye steak right here, too. Ooh. Oh, this is, wait, this, this one has a bone? Oh, it's boneless. Loin. Beef loin. So, I'm going to get a big ribeye steak. You're welcome. And there's one. Oh, USDA Choice right here. Do you want one, too, or no? I can make you a steak too while I'm at it. Just get two of them and I'll tell you how I feel, but probably not. I'm just being fat. Okay. Well, I've seen two of them right here. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna I grab do want these, but guys. sashimi. That's not sashimi. It's not. It's not even the right size. This cut. is huge. I don't even know if you can finish a pound with this. Okay, okay, steak. then don't get it. Don't no, just let me know if you. Don't really waste want. our hard-earned money. But do you want it or not? I'm being fat, Papa. I'm being fat. You're gonna make spaghetti. I know. I'll make a lot of it that. too. You're so right. So I'm gonna just get one. One big old steak I'll coming right up. Oh. What is it? What are you looking at? Texas toast, baby. So I don't even, I never even knew what Texas toast was until my mom came over it over the weekend and she brought the Texas toast. She ruined my life forever because it's fucking good. I just can't remember the brand. Oh, you put it in. Which one was it? Oh, yeah. I, I knew the Texas toast because, uh, Casey always told me about it, but oh, I never ate it before. From Texas. But I don't think there's uh The one she got, huh? No, I mean, I don't think that you can go wrong. But the one she Usually got Usually with was stuff so like good. this, you want to get the cheapest, the better. So which one looks like the hands down, the straight, uh, cheapest, wackest? This one? I don't know. Does that even make sense? New York Bakery Texas Toast? No. With real garlic? Oh. That actually might be good, though. What do I want? Thing. What do I want? Do you could. You can never go wrong with Pepperidge Farms too. Okay. I'm a big fan so, of Pepperidge Farms. Oh, because of the cookies. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, baby. What else do you need to get? I think that's it. I'm gonna get spinach oh, so pasta. I can uh, poop nicely. Oh, good, good. I need pasta. Pasta, pasta. What you got there? I got some spinach, and this is one of those things you can cook really, really fast. It's not like stream beans, it's gonna take forever. Um, if you wanted to make it fancy, you can cook this in chicken broth and get a lot of flavor, but I'm just gonna keep it simple. Throw in a little bit of garlic, some little salt, a little bit of pepper. Boom, maybe, but, boom, maybe boom, in boom. a splash of soy sauce, just a little bit of. A little bit of ching chong. Yeah, and then that's it. Moving on, what do you need? Pasta. What's going through your mind as you make the toughest life decision in the world? Which pasta sauce should you choose? Well, what was going through my mind was, which one did my mom use? Really? Yeah. I think she just went with Prego. You can't go wrong with Prego. Because Night you are sauce. Prego. <laughs> you don't want to venture off and do anything special? Ooh, right, I go in this way. Like there's this one that says farmer's market. It looks crazy hipster. Like it's no, supposed no, to be good. No. I don't get Barilla. hipster. I Barilla. won't buy a hipster here. I'll buy a hipster at Whole Foods. Oh, okay. Buddy, yeah. You don't want to go at Prego? So you're going to go against what your mom's been doing your whole life? You just told me to venture. I don't know. What about this one? Damn, this one looks like it's straight from Italy. Reserva Classico. Oh, it's guy with the winner. Fine. I'm going to go with this one. Okay. What else do we need? Did you grab everything? Yeah. Bam. Done Vamanos. Let's go cook at home. You know what's funny? What? You just came for these two things, and I just came for the pasta, but I ended up with a dishwasher soap, cranberry juice, <laughs> uh, fruits, organic milk, and cinnamon raisin bread. Oh my god, cinnamon raisin bread? Yeah, with butter. Have with you our had it? with our uh, freaking thing. With our freaking, our thing, freaking right. oven toaster thing that, that just came in. Oh, that's gonna taste so bomb. They throw ice cream in. on there. Jesus Christ. Ew. Cinnamon with ice cream, it fits. But the crust. The oh my crust God, you do not know how to have a good time. Fine. <laughs> You're such a party pooper. Fine. You trying to run me over? <laughs> Damn.
I am so happy that I invested in those commercial grade pans because I cooked this bomb ass dinner in under five minutes, both sides. It was so fast. And now Ma Bear has my new uh, scan pan and she's barely been on here for I think like two minutes without any oil and it's not even sticking to it. You know who recommended the scan pan? Uh, my beloved David. Yep. I he knows it. a lot about cooking. I know. And that thing is cooking so evenly on such a big surface. That is so dope. It is beautiful. This is so awesome because we get to cook and be with each other while watching TV from this far away. We're having a really cool, fun bonding time. I know. Let me borrow this a bit. And the remotes actually work that far. <laughs> and our dogs are having a good time watching us. This is so awesome. I know, you fuckers. Wow, wow, that escalated <laughs> so fast. Did you have a good kitty time with me tonight? Yeah, it was so fast. You went ham quick. I'm gonna kiss you. So we're gonna enjoy our cuny little night, eat our dinner. See you guys tomorrow.